everyone and welcome back to Suikiden 2. In the last episode, we liberated Green Hill through the longest battle ever. I am so sorry about that. Mistakes were made, it took a while, but we finally got to Green Hill and we're gonna try to sneak in. Since we can't do it with a large army, we're gonna just have to do it with us. So Teresa's gonna show us the way. Alright, so, hopefully I remember how to go here. I think we just follow to the next area for now. Most of it's pretty straightforward. Oh no, remember these guys? Well, they're still here. I'm gonna auto them real quick because we haven't seen some of these people fight. We got George with us. My god, he's strong. I put a double beat on him for now. He's really good with a rage rune. So that's something for him. And there's Karen back there, you see her. She starts all innocent and then she pulls out her magic dancing uniform of doom. We've got Killy with us, Sierra's our magic user, and so on and so forth. A different party. The guys here, even though they're really easy, drop a lot of gold, so you might want to, you know, mess around with that, depending on. Uh, the target girls around here can drop nymph runes. Uh, Highlanders can drop iron boots. Here they are, in fact. Speak of the devil. The iron boots that these guys drop are pretty good for most of our fighters, and this is the only place you can get them. So if you want those iron boots, go ahead and fight these guys for a while. We'll have a chance to actually fight quite a few. So hopefully we'll get some. I know I just attacked with Sierra. I don't want to hear about it. I'm trying to do this quickly. And Karen, too. Their attack is not very high. They're really meant to do magic. Uh, but I'm just being lazy, to be fair. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. With George in the front, man, you don't even need to worry about it. Look at that damage. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh my gosh. He He's really good. Alright, so... I think we have to go... The Sly? Get out of here. <laughs> Lazy indeed. Am I going the right way? Yeah. So we got winged boots. Anyone? Does anyone want those? Defense, 14, and some speed. What do we have? Well, you know the law. The trickle-down thing is in effect. Who would like this? Hmm. It's really just defense, so probably Sierra could use it more than anyone since she's in the front row and she's not as strong as Ryu and George by, by far. All right. I think that, yeah, there's another one. Hey, excuse me. Right in the middle of something. Whatever. Look at Karen change. It's pretty good, right? Like I said, she's not a beater, nor is Sierra really, although Sierra does have more strength than most magic users you're gonna come across, um, but not much more. I'm just doing this because I'm being lazy. We will see them blow up things, don't you worry. That is coming. It's just that I know what I have to conserve because I, I kind of know what I'm doing, although after that last battle we saw, <laughs> clearly I don't. Ugh. Maybe that'll teach you guys not to go the hard route. Cape of Darkness. Let's take a look. I didn't know they dropped that. I don't even know which one of them dropped it. Uh, just Defense 12. Anyone? See how everyone has the shredding in here? We talked about that last time. You just leave that. Don't worry about that. We could just give George extra defense and just make him a complete beast. A dream robe. Who wants it? So many items. Good thing I cleared out. Uh, yeah, just Sierra and Karen can wear this. Since Sierra's in the front, she's gonna get it. They both have master robes on. All right. Uh, go this way pretty straightforward. Even if you do get a little lost, it won't be too bad. Guys! Oh, these guys, huh? Fine. These guys are annoying. Even still. Still a pain in the ass. <laughs> don't start singing. I don't want to hear it. Come on! Nope. <laughs> I was thinking we'd all get him in a round. We could have done if I did magic, but... Whatever. It's a lazy Sunday morning, and I'm just steeping in the laziness. I'm sorry. 
Whenever I'm trying to get somewhere where I have to go, like for story progression, I'm just like on the way. I'm just like, whatever. Just fight all these things and leave. Stone of skill, you know what to do. Technique two. All right. All right, up this way. We're gonna wanna go northeast-ish. Whoops. No. Get out of here. <laughs> I should have fought them. They have a lot of money. And I and I do need money. Just saying. That is a tree. Seriously? Get out. <laughs> oh god. This is the right way. Pretty sure. We're gonna start running into soldiers if we're going the right way. Oh, sure enough. Come on, I want them iron boots. I really do. Alright, let's take a look here. What can we do? Let's do something other than attack, because you guys have already seen that. Now for Sierra, I put, uh, she's obviously got the darkness rune on her. Uh, she doesn't have another slot yet, which is a little disappointing. That's why I don't really take her as a main magic user. She just doesn't have the room. But, um, I think she gets one more, maybe? Not sure about that. But she's A rank in darkness, so if you wanna... If you want to do this, then, uh, as you can see, we really want to keep some of the big ones. So let's just do sudden death to one enemy. Whatever. Uh, Kelly, you can attack. Let's see what Karen has. She's got the twin ring, which you can't take off of her. Another disappointing feature about her. Um, it's two times damage, but may ruin balance, so I don't fuck with it usually. But, uh, I put resurrection on her because she's also very high rank in this kind of, uh, of spell. So, we've got charm arrow, which is nice. Uh, scolding works versus undead and scream also yell which raises people in battle if you still recall uh, and 400 damage let's blow them up why not I'll do it take a chance problem is she's not the fastest partner believe it or not you'd think that a dancer would be fast but uh, she doesn't have much speed at least not that I would expect her to have I would expect her to go first but even Sierra goes before her, so like I said, these two are not my top choice for magic users, but I wanted to show you guys something different. So there you go. Oh my god, by the time we get through here, we're gonna have- she's gonna all hit one enemy. How disappointing. <laughs> well, there we go, we wasted that. Because she's so slow. You didn't think that through. A dancer should be fast. So I don't know why they didn't make her super speedy. That's what I would have done. Anyway, the Highland soldiers are very easy. So don't worry about them. Guys! I'm only fighting you because I want money. And because George is going to take out everything. Because that's what he does. What? Man, she's faster than Sierra and Karen? Really? That's really stupid. <laughs> Man, what can, you, what can you even say about this? They're fighting like little holly leaves. It's kind of a weird... It's a weird thing. She's poisoned. Not that it matters, because George just mows down everything. 705 damage on a normal hit. What are you gonna do? It is, he is a beast. Just a beast. Follow here, it's all straightforward at this point. You can't make a wrong decision, I don't think. Because if you notice, that treasure chest was uh, open because we've been here before. Sorry, I really want money. <laughs> it's alright, I'll find something to talk about while we do this. It's like we're beating up Christmas. It's so terrible. Come on now. Don't make him poop out babies. That's just weird. It really does look like he's pooping out. Well, all right, that's fine. You know, if we had Luke with us, we'd be blowing up stuff. Everything would be dead. I'm just kidding. George is like Luke in melee form. So we, we've got we've got a guy that like is good at blowing things up uh, with a sword. Yes, with his sword. All right, so you should start recognizing where you are. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's that woman again. Really? 
I've been waiting for you, Ryu. And you, woman. You are Teresa? I will bring this to a conclusion here and now. Y you are I am the daughter of Kinua, chieftain of the Karaya tribe. My name is Lucia. Here we go with this again. This is actually considered a boss battle. It's Lucia and the Karayans. I can't remember off the top of my head how much HP they have. Sorry about that. Uh, feel free to unload whatever you want on here because um, we will have a chance to heal before we get into Green Hill. So everything there is fine. Do whatever you'd like. George can't reach her back there yet, but we'll take them down soon enough. Obviously, you're going to want to use some of your good hit all spells. That's what I would do. We'll have them, not to worry. Um, Lucia, we've seen her a couple times now, so I feel like I should talk about her. Um, basically, how do I do this without? It's hard because I don't want to spoil anything in case you guys really do want to play the other games in the series. We see her here. This is the first time we've ever seen her. And um, she's actually very prominent in Suikoden 3. So she has a very important role in that, to be honest. We get a little taste of her now. But Suikoden 3 fans know her very well. And uh, we'll find out a little more about her soon. Uh, the Karayans, they're, they're gone. They're easy. And she's fairly easy too. Uh, nothing to worry about. Not as easy as when you fought her uh, in your room. But almost as much. Uh oh. I forgot to heal Sierra. She'll be alright. Hang in there. There's Karen's twin ring. And of course she's unbalanced. I find that that happens more often than not. So you want to be really careful. Uh, let's go ahead and just heal everybody just because I feel like it. And everyone else can just do something. <laughs> do something! I'm not going to waste that on her, to be fair. It's not going to do anything. Like, it'd be stupid to waste all that, even though we can heal. She can't do anything. So she's out. That's fine. It's hard to talk about Lucia without spoiling it. Like I said, she's a very interesting and conflicted character. Here in the Sugaden 2, we only see her as being an assassin. Like, we don't see her as being much more until after this fight, maybe. But I really like her, to be to be honest. I like her as an enemy here, and I also like her in Sugaden 3 a lot. Really? Come on now. I said you were easy, and you're making this this look bad. This is not the most ideally outfitted party, so we could have trouble coming up with what's happening. I'm gonna heal again, because I can. And then get her. Whatever, we're just gonna blow her up now, I don't care. Get her. And get her. <laughs> and get her. Do it! Everyone got that? You guys wanted to see a different party, so this is what we have. And I know that a lot of you are, like, requesting... Man, she's really after Sierra, holy crap. I know a lot of you guys are requesting other people, too. It's just so hard to... There's a hundred and eight character possibilities here. It's really difficult for me to <laughs> put them all in a party. And get you, you know, get them screen time. It's, it's very difficult. I will do my utmost, but I can't promise a thing. If, if anything, this should make you want to play so you get into yourself, so you can try out the characters that you want to try out. That's what I'm hoping for. I know the game is hard to find. You know, I get that part about it. it that's the part that sucks. Right, are we okay? We're okay. Everyone do something. <laughs> do this again. And she didn't get unbalanced, so we got lucky there. So yeah, considerably harder than before. Oh, well, George just knocked her out. Okay, good. Works for me. Blue gate rune, nice if you need it. If you wanted another one. Damn! What is your story? Why do you think of us as enemies? Yeah, where did you even come from? What's the problem? Listen to yourself, woman of Green Hill. I never thought I'd hear such words from you. What are you talking about? We, 
The people of the Karaya have been caught up in countless foolish wars with you, and have always been oppressed. Well, here we go. And just when some measure of harmony was in sight, your father, Alec and Gordu of Matilda, poisoned my father to death at a peace council. They assassinated him. They probably thought that since a girl was next in line to be chieftain, they could control us. A most foolish strategy indeed. All the Kariah are warriors. Men, women, it doesn't matter. My father did what? I understand. When this war is over, I will investigate your claims. If they prove true, I swear that my father's sin will be acknowledged and you will be compensated. For now, I ask you to believe in us. Lord Ryu is different from my father and from the past rulers of the city-state. I ask you to watch our struggle and decide for yourself. Oh man, what's she gonna do then? I am defeated. I cannot stop you. Hmm. So she has a story after all. This is why I like her so much. And if you if you like her too, play Suikoden 3. I think you will like her even more. Uh, do we go this way? I think we go this way. Yep, if you got soldiers, you're going the right way. Guys, we are busy, and you haven't given me any iron boots or anything, making me look again like an idiot. <laughs> I tell you guys about all these great drops, they never happen. Seriously, they only ever happen off screen, because you have to like farm them. The percentage rate of drops in this is really kind of poor, if I can be honest. I'm just doing this for boots, and you really can't run away from this battle. Not from the soldiers. Alright, we're getting money. We're getting there. Down this way. We're trying to sneak in. Is all this sneaking? Remember this? Here's the, uh, the cabin. Oh, come on, you guys, really? I'm busy. I need to stop this. George just needs to take out all of them. Is it- some people were telling me it was Georg. Which kind of makes more sense, the way it's uh, spelled. So maybe I should start calling him that. I feel bad. Also, people were telling me that he's in Seekin in 5. And he's quite good. Which is amazing to me, because, um... I mean, I don't know how the timelines work. I think some of the the newer ones, like 4 and 5, are actually either predating this or, or something like that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because I played for for maybe like an hour, and then I never played it again because I didn't like it. And because of that, it kind of shattered me, and I never picked up 5. But people say that five's really great. So you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick it up uh, when I can. Because I, I would like to, to re-spark my Suikoden adventure and, and play one that I haven't played. I've played Tear Christ. Um, that one's good. It's just a little bit different. Plus it's a handheld version, so you know. Sometimes the handhelds are like never as good. I'm not I'm not fighting this. Get out of here. If you've played Tear Christ or some of the other ones, let me know how you like it. It's also a visual novel and people have asked actually asked me to like voice that and I'm not sure what I I'm gonna do with that, but uh, maybe? I guess if you guys really wanted me to. It's kind of like a voice novel anime thing about this one, of all things. Nope. I'm bored with you guys. I'm bored with all of you. Oh my gosh, are we there yet? Ah, oh, here we go. Alright, so we're in the academy. We haven't been back here in a long time. Man, I remember our adventures here when we first got here. So long ago. So one thing to note is once you leave the academy, be very careful. Hang on a minute, I'm looking around. You want to make sure that you don't go too far without talking to these two people here. Talk to this girl, and she will fully restore all of your, um, 
your magic and your MP and HP. So every everything, full restore, even runes. So if you wasted runes on the Lucia fight, that's fine. Restore them now. And this guy will let you save. You're probably going to want to do this because of the upcoming events. So what I would do is save it on an off slot and just be prepared. Because something is going to happen when you change screens and go down into greenhouse. So that is what I recommend. Now we can go. All right, we're in. Uh-oh. Not too sneaky. We've already been found. Fine. Don't waste your magic just yet on these guys, even though there will be quite a few to fight. Uh, try not to. That's all I'm going to say. If you want to be smart about it. You do want to be smart about it, don't you? Man, everyone's having a pick on Sierra Day. What's going on with this? Good thing I upped your defense. Right. Boots? These guys can still drop it. Nope, no boots. We get nothing. We get nothing and like it. Alright, I think we just have to keep going down south towards the main gate. And we're gonna run into these guys on the way. This is a deliberate attempt to wear you down because of what's coming, so just do your best. If you are struggling with it, you can use magic, but try to keep your best stuff to a minimum because, um... You're going to want to save it for what's coming up. They like to do this false tricking where they're like, Oh, just Highland Soldiers, I'll just blow them all up. And then something big happens and you don't have any magic left. I know I said that would happen in Necklord and we defeated him, but we have a different party now and what's coming up is hard, so I just want to be extra cautious. Is this the way we go? Yeah. Lord Ryu, please take care. What's going on? What? <gasps> no. You are Ryu, bearer of a true rune and a cursed child. Ruler of hatred, master of nightmares. Who is this guy? My servant, I call you forth from your dark realm to wreak havoc and destroy this boy. Oh, goodness me, what? Well, here's a boss, an epic boss at that. This is the Bone Dragon. He has 9,200 HP. He's really hard. Harder than Necklord. Harder than anything you've fought so far. He's absolutely immune to lightning, so if you brought somebody with Thor's shot, don't even bother. However, he's extremely weak to wind, which is why I had you guys destroy all those wind runes and make scrolls. Here's what we're going to do. If you're like me, you went ahead and put that Mother Earth rune that you got on Ryu because it's very good. And we're going to want to go ahead and defense and magic defense up for all five turns. Guardian Earth, do this because he has some nasty hit all attacks and you don't want to be caught in them at all. And everyone else, you're going to use the shredding that we put on. It's just the shredding that you want. When you destroy the rune, you get all the spells. The shredding is the highest level spell. This is what you're going to use until they're all gone. Everybody except Ryu has one. So we're going to use them all. You're going to want to do this or this battle is going to be quite hard. So if you want an, uh, an easier way out, this is what you're going to do. And Ryu is going to be on heal after this turn. The Bone Dragon does some nasty damage. Thankfully, he only uh, hits one per turn. He doesn't go two per round. If he did, we'd all be dead because some of his stuff does like 450 damage and higher. There we go. That's, that's what we want to see. Now see, if we took Luke, who has a Cyclone Rune, we could have had this in the bag. But no, you guys didn't want him. So now we're doing this strategy. <laughs> I usually don't put the shredding on everybody when I take Luke, because you don't n need to technically. But with this, I, I will. Ouch. You see, this is nasty. If he does that twice without a heal, we're all doomed. Karen has resurrection, so she can raise one person at a time, but she won't live another one. So something to keep in mind. Alright. It's heal time. I'm gonna go ahead and battle Oath, so that we can hopefully get some Berserk on George. Ugh. Here we go again. I don't want to waste it. I always do this. I never follow through. 
never do. All right, one regular one, and then we'll see how we do. Beat him up. Everyone should still have a shredding left. We're gonna do that. This will make it a lot easier, trust me. I know you guys wanted to see a knockdown drag out fight probably, but you don't wanna mess with this guy. He will kill you. Up to you. That looks so cool, you have to admit. Sprites in this are so good. I always, I'm still amazed that this game is so old, yet it still holds itself up as an RPG that's great. Like, I don't feel like I need better graphics or anything on this game. I just, I really like it the way it is. And it's still, it's still fun and entertaining. He's gotta be dead soon. We've done a ton of damage to him in a short time. But he's tough. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so that was the very easy way, but trust me, if you don't do it this way, you're going to have a hard time. Money. I like it. Oh, we wrecked him. All right, we exterminated that one. Where'd all these villagers come from? I guess they came to help. Look, the Highland soldiers are running away. My, my power is again inadequate. Ryu, bearer of a true rune. You will find it is not easy to extinguish the flames of war. Who is this dude? You're gonna have to play Sukun in 3 to find out. Well done, Lord Ryu. Lady Teresa, you've finally come back to us. Hey look, Lady Teresa kept her promise, just like I said she would. Of course! Lady Teresa is back. Green Hill is back to normal. Oh, these guys missed her so much. So heartwarming. Oh, Fitcher's back. Lord Ryu, a message from Shui requests you return to Victory Castle as soon as possible. I haven't voiced him in a while. I don't know what this is about, but it seems important. For now, we'll leave a unit of troops here to protect Green Hill. Lord Ryu, let's return to the castle. Alright, let's go. Kibuka joins convoy. Teresa's gonna stay here. And resume her role of mayor. What's all this about? What's happened? Lord Ryu, bad news. The Bantilda Knights have surrendered to Highland. What? That stupid leader of the Knights. I knew this was going to happen. What? While we were attacking Greenhill? Yes, while we were dispatching troops to Greenhill, the Highland army invaded the Knight's Domain with two-thirds of their army. Wait, what? So how did they get in both places at once? But Joey, Colgan, and Seed were all there at the border with Muse. When did they- The generals were just a decoy. Almost all of the soldiers headed for Matilda territory. Very clever. Jesus Christ, their tactician is fucking amazing. Leon Silverberg, the strategist, led the Highland army alone against Matilda. Garuda was very quick to make a peace offering. That chicken, I knew it. Officially, the knights will stay independent in return for helping Highland, but in effect, they've become puppets of Highland. Damn that Garuda! Where's his pride as a knight? How can he let them rub it in their faces like that? Oh boy. Ryu, Joey, let's attack Muse immediately. Why did she say Joey? He's not here. Ma'am? That's a really weird typo. Holy crap. Most of the Highland army is still in Matilda, and even if they make it back, they'll be tired from the march. Alright, so we're gonna do this, but for now you have to say let me think about it. Very important. You're tired from war, but you should decide quickly. Delay could mean the difference between victory and defeat. I realize that, but there's a lot of stuff we can do right now before we progress the story, and I'm going to help you guys do that in the next one. See you later, guys.